Make a date with Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online. Truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College on Sundays in the morning and for our midweek service on Wednesdays in the evening. Now, uh, this, this morning I'd like to uh, capture my thoughts and call it fake realities. I remember many years ago, um, a, a son of mine, that is a spiritual son of mine, mine called me all the way from the United States and said, Daddy, you know, I've just bought you a Rolex watch. I mean, whoa, I mean, hey, this la boy, he got the Rolex watch. I was on top of the moon. And, you know, I went and got, he brought it down and then he was telling me how much it was selling. And I, I checked on the internet and I realized that, oh, wow, I mean, boy. And, you know, you go everywhere and then when you wear the Rolex watch, when you're talking to people, you know, and there's, oh, I just came, I just came, you know, and all the things that come with it. But one time we were, I was in London and I was ministering in a couple of churches in London. And then some friends of mine uh, came over. And when they got to London, they called me, where are you? And uh, these guys are very, very powerful people. And, you know, they have a lot of money, a lot of money. You know, um, please don't worry me. I'm making friends with unrighteous mammon, please. N now, uh, when they call me, they say, where are you? I said, oh, I'm in town. And they say, all right. Now, uh, we're also in London. We're, we're going to come over for you. And we're picking you up to take you. Uh, we're going for shopping. I said, yeah, well, uh, let's go. So we all met of all places in Harrods. I mean, Harrods, Harrods, that is where we met in London. And if anybody tells you Harrods, oh boy, then, and, and these guys were, I mean, they were shopping crazy. I mean, they were buying things that, you know, and sometimes when they, they ask me, won't you buy? I say, oh, 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 you know, but then at that day, I was wearing the Rolex watch. I'd won the Rolex watch, you know, we're going to Harrods. So you, you better put up an appearance, you know, I mean, and so, and they were all wearing Rolexes. And so we got to the, you know, we were all strutting around until they got to the, uh, the place where this, I mean, the, the section for watches. And there was a huge Rolex uh, session. When you get there, they would invite you and give you coffee and all those things. Then, you know, they, they went and bought a couple and they were very, very, very expensive. And I must be very honest, there's no way. I mean, no way whatsoever I'm going to go. That, the amount of money they spend there can buy a whole house. I mean, that's bottom line. Can buy a whole house and can buy a, a, a major car. When I say major, major. Some cars are minor, you know. Some cars are major. But, you know, I was wearing the Rolex watch and, you know, all of us were feeling very proud and walking. Then I got to one of the boxes that was selling my particular kind of Rolex watch. Then I got near, I looked at mine. Then I looked into the box. I looked at mine. I looked into the box. I looked at mine. Then I looked into the box again, and I realized that mm, something was wrong. <laughs> and it was very, very simple. You know what was wrong? I realized that the ones there that mine was supposed to be depicting, mine was not the real. Mine was the fake. I mean... So I looked there and I looked there. Nobody, I just said to myself, oh boy, oh boy. Now those who know and they might see me, they will say, he's wearing a fake this thing. So I pretended I was putting my hands into my pocket and quietly removed my Rolex and put it in, the, in the, my pocket and uh, walked away. I think one of them noticed it, yet it but couldn't laugh. And uh, it was a very embarrassing situation for me because I'd always walked around with the idea that that's the real thing. That's the real deal. It only took a moment where I met the real for me to recognize that all along I had the fake. I mean, uh, don't ask me what ensued after. When I came, I called that young man and said, my friend, 
<laughs> you just sold me and you went to, you made me go in disgrace myself. In thing. Because, I mean, oh, everybody was watching. I mean, everybody was wearing Rolex. And I was also wearing one, only that mine was fake. The real would always expose the fake. In Exodus chapter 7, if you read carefully, the Bible says Moses had his rod and the magicians also had their rods. Now the magician's rod had ruled Egypt for a very long time. But the day Moses brought the real, the real snake, the real rod, and he placed it down, it exposed their thick rods for what it was. Truth swallowed deception. The real made nonsense of the fake. Most times, you, are, you need to understand, you might buy a bag, it is Gucci bag and all those other things. Then you pass someone, you're like, mm, I just got the fake. Here's the principle for life. And you need to understand this. The real would always expose the fake. In this day and age where we thrive on the artificial, in this day and age where we pursue the fake, or we manufacture the fake in order for it to appear as the real. It's just a matter of time because the appearance of the real will expose all the same. And you don't know when and where the real might appear. The magicians of Egypt, their rods had ruled Egypt for a long time in deception and ensconced Egypt in the womb or in the cocoon of deception. It just took one rod from a Moses who came to town and it exposed all of them. The real would always expose the fake. And it's just a matter of time. Pursue the real. Don't go for the fake. Pursue the real. Because with time, you'll be exposed. Like my Rolex watch was exposed. I hope you're not laughing. The real and the fake. They will work together for a while. But the real will swallow the fake. It's just a matter of time. Go for the real. See you later.